Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce dative personal pronouns. As we discussed in an earlier presentation, accusative personal pronouns in German are organized by number, person, and gender. You may wish to review that presentation before continuing with this one. The dative personal pronouns are also organized according by number, person, and gender. Of these pronouns, only uns, first person plural, and euch, second person plural, are similar to the accusative personal pronouns. Because of this similarity, you will need to be careful in distinguishing between the accusative and dative forms. The dative first person and second person singular forms are mir and dir. You will notice that the first part of these pronouns resemble the accusative forms, but that the data forms both end in R. This ending always helps me in identifying these pronouns as being dative. The data third person singular forms are im, masculine, ir, feminine, and im, neuter. You'll notice that the masculine and neuter forms are identical, so you will need to be careful in distinguishing between the two. Notice, however, that both these forms end in m, which is the same ending for the dative definite article dame. Like the dative definite article der, the feminine personal pronoun ihr also ends in r, which can help you in identifying this pronoun as being dative. The formal personal pronouns, both singular and plural, are ihnen, which you will note has a capitalized first letter. This capitalization will help you in distinguishing the third person plural dative pronoun ihnen which does not have a capitalized first letter. Using dative personal pronouns is an easy matter that simply involves replacing the dative noun or noun phrase with the corresponding personal pronoun. Let's take a look at a few select examples now. In the sentence you see here, Ich gebe dem Mann das Buch, I give the book to the man, the definite article dem indicates that the masculine noun man is the indirect object in the sentence and therefore in the dative case. I can replace the noun phrase de man with the third person singular dative personal pronoun im. Note that the final letter m in im matches the final letter in the definite article dame. If I were to use a feminine noun in the sentence, such as ich gebe der Frau das Buch, I give the book to the woman, the indirect object der Frau would be replaced by the third person singular dative personal pronoun ihr. Note that the final letter r in ihr matches the final letter in the definite article der. The same thing holds with third person plural nouns. As you see in this sentence, ich gebe den Studenten das Buch, I give the book to the students. The noun phrase den Studenten would be replaced by the third person plural dative personal pronoun ihnen. Note here that the first letter in ihnen is not capitalized. Dative personal pronouns do not necessarily have to replace a noun or noun phrase. This happens in the first and second person singular and plural. Let's take a look at a few more examples. In the sentence you see here, die Frau gibt mir das Buch, the woman gives the book to me, the first person singular dative personal pronoun mir signals that I am the indirect object in the sentence, the recipient of the book. In this sentence, die Frau gibt uns das Buch, the woman gives the book to us, the first person plural dative personal pronoun uns signals that I am situated in a group of people that functions as the indirect object of the sentence. Finally, the sentence you see here, ich gebe Ihnen das Buch, I give the book to you, looks a lot like the sentence we saw earlier. Note, however, that the first letter in Enen is capitalized. This means that Enen is a formal dative personal pronoun, and the person I am addressing is a stranger, a business associate, or somebody I just met. In other words, a person I would want to show respect to. This dative personal pronoun is used both in the singular and plural. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.